Here's a little mystery figure from the Batman Returns toy line from 1991. We got Robin, who wasn't in the Batman Returns movie. Apparently there was maybe plans to have him included, but we got the action figure, so I want to open this up, take a look at him, and talk about having this figure as a kid. I have a brand new one here to open up, since mine was, <laughs> was very used and accessories kind of busted up and things like that. The launching grappling hook. And he has his own artwork on the front, but yeah, not in the film, just kind of drawn for this action figure release. Also kind of got his own logo with the Robin font. Part of the earlier group of these figures shown on the back of the box. And he has a pretty cool grappling hook thing that we'll check out here too. It wasn't a complete mistake because he had his own little vehicle released as well. With like a Robin logo. But for my collection, we'll open up a new one here. So we can look at everything fresh. We got the head that is pretty like long. He's got like the crazy flat top. <laughs> So I'm not sure if they were aiming for a comic book appearance at the time when Robin is starting to look a little cooler. He just got his green tights, he's got the big gloves. And what was cool, he had his own unique cape that had like the inner yellow and the black backing. Because all the Batman figures all came with the same Batman cape. Robin had his own unique one, so a lot of effort into the figure. He's just going to be a five points with the head. I was always glad to have this, to have a Robin figure, because I didn't see him in the movie, but I got to saw so many cartoons had Batman and Robin. So you got this kind of cooler version to go with the Batman figures. Nice combo with the kind of older comic book colored version from the first Batman movie, the 89 action figures that uses the same mold for Batman. And had a classic Batman-Robin pair that way. Since I was never able to get the superpowers action figures, they were kind of past my time. So I definitely appreciate having this figure, even though it wasn't in the movie. So he has this backpack with the old classic clip there. Big old string. As you can see, since it's packed in there, that it has kind of a groove in the middle that's meant for kind of keeping it wrapped up. And it kind of has the tail end there thing, so you can kind of do a climb deal with him. But if I remember correctly, this particular mechanism is super strong, has this tiny little button. I remember this thing really shot out like crazy, like... Yeah, it's pretty strong. Mine as a kid, I removed the string. <laughs> so it really shot out of there. This is kind of maybe held back by the string. So you can keep the cape on, but it gets bunched up. So here we can see a little more clearly it clip into the back of having his grappling hook backpack. And you can kind of suspend him for the climb that way. It doesn't do the pull mechanism where he goes forward. You just would have to manually move him or tilt to get him to do a climb. But a strong mechanism, a good firing missile. We got the grappling hook hook, so you can kind of hook it on to different little things. So it was a lot of fun to play with. A lot of the Batman action figure stuff, I, since I was a little kid, I'd hold it as like it was my own Batman like gun, grapple gun or something. Maybe I'd put on a little costume and pretend to grapple around with them too when I wasn't just playing with the action figures. So it makes me wonder if the figures came out a little bit before the movie and if comic nerds were freaking out thinking Robin was in the movie or something. But way back when the 1989 Batman movie came out, they had a Robin figure as well. Kind of a leftover from the superpowers line as it transitioned to this one with like the movie theme a little bit. So probably they got duped twice <laughs> back then thinking they're going to have Robin in the movies, but not until Batman Forever when we kind of got the recast. But this 90s Batman line I just kind of used as my own Batman toys. Didn't worry about too much about the movies. But they're fun to collect here. I've been getting all the ones I'm missing and stuff are like this. I just kind of refreshed my old one. That's what I like to do here with a lot of my 90s action figure stuff. Batman and other things. So if you want to see more, I got playlists that you'll want to find. Click on the channel and find the playlist tab. Got it all nicely organized for you to watch through stuff that you want to see. Don't rely on YouTube to show you the next video because they're pretty bad at it, in my opinion. So I'm hoping to see you in the next video.